Le Mans. This year, the Mecca of Motorsports celebrates the 90th anniversary of the world-famous 24-hour classic race. Five days before the starting light turns green, the heart of the city transforms into a pulsating motorsport spectacle with the scrutineering. Extraordinary and unique in the world. When you see it and you realize that this is a tradition and it's about Le Mans town becoming a racing circuit. It's about the, everything getting behind it. The city of Le Mans is noticeably associated with the race. It can most clearly be seen at the obligatory driver's parade. So many friends, you know, are around and that's crazy. That's really cool. The atmosphere of the driver's parade transports seamlessly into the pit lane. The heroes of the track, in demand and always surrounded. Patrick Dempsey once again adds an additional touch of glamour. The Grey's Anatomy star temporarily swaps the Hollywood glitz for a GT race car steering wheel, and he's not averse to getting a pointer or two from the professionals before the race. I think it is the, the tradition of it, the history of it. It's 90 years this year. The, the feeling, the event from scrutineering the whole week, the race itself, the, the quality, there's a beauty to it that is just, it's so much fun to be a part of. The mood directly before the start, electrifying. The famous grandstand filled to the brim. The encouragement of the fans before the start is unrivaled. The drivers are fired up for the highlight of the WEC season. The concentration and tension directly before the start of the race is intense. Alan McNish starts the race on the pole with Andre Lotra next to him in the first row. Lucas Degrassi starts in third ahead of both Toyotas. The 90th anniversary race begins at 3 p.m. And directly after the start, the first attack. Andre Lotter goes on the offensive and passes his brand colleague, Alan McNish. Toyota puts the pressure on Audi, which ultimately results in Nicolas Lapierre passing Lucas Degrassi and Alan McNish. Nine minutes into the race, tragedy strikes when Alan Simonson's Aston Martin crashes. The Dane dies of his injuries shortly after in the medical center. After the shock, the safety car rolls onto the track for the first time. Fierce duels for position follow. The number one Audi leads for a while until last year's winner is forced to make a pit stop for repairs. Falling several laps behind, last year's winner is finally able to get back into the race. During the night, the number two Audi R18 e-tron Quattro leads the race ahead of both Toyota Sport prototypes. More safety car faces follow, more than at any other time in the history of the race in Le Mans. The last big safety car phase takes place after the number seven Toyota slides off the track 75 minutes before the end of the race. Nothing else changes at the head of the pack, and so it's official. The Audi trio of Loic Duval, Alan McNish, and Tom Christensen celebrate a historic triumph. The 12th victory for Audi is perfect. It's a hard-won triumph for the team from Ingolstadt. And third place goes to the trio of Lucas Degrassi, Marc Genet, and Oliver Jarvis. It's truly a race filled with ups and downs, and one which will not soon be forgotten. I went into this race, I wanted really to race for my dad because he passed away this year. But if I just imagine myself sitting down, having a, a, a little Danish beer with Alan and my dad, then we would both agree that I should try to win this race with Audi for, for Alan. And this is what we did, so you don't call that a happy ending. I'm really proud on my team because uh, they really did an incredible, perfect job. And I know how difficult it was today. So I only can say I'm really proud that I'm a part of this team. The 90th anniversary race in Le Mans is history. Because they win 50 points in the race, Loic Duval, Alan McNish and Tom Christensen enter the next race of the WEC season in Sao Paulo at the top of the championship ranking.